Hey guys, Joe Kasimi here with the Incompressed blog and this is just a real quick tutorial on how to make your image artwork show up in your iTunes podcast directory and in your iTunes podcast website like the one you see here. Now as you can see here I already have my uh, my image there showing and let me tell you that it took me months and months of research to finally figure this out. I mean, I'm serious. It took me a long time. And this is a big problem for a lot of people. I know because I saw it all over the place. People posting on forums asking for help on this very same issue. And there's really not a good sound set of instructions on how to do this. So hopefully you find this video and, and this video will help you finally figure this you know how to do this so uh, let's go ahead and proceed I'm gonna show you a, a few things here two things one how to set uh, how to put the image here okay so I, iTunes could actually go ahead and put it there and the second one is I'm gonna show you how to put it back here in the iTunes directory okay cuz uh, right here you can see uh, these are uh, some of my favorite podcasts that I listen to on a daily basis on a weekly basis and that's mine here the best podcast ever but as you can see here some of these guys do not have uh, their image okay so I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and put this here there's two ways to do this that you need to do this okay so let's go ahead and uh, and start um, do it let's go back to the website so uh, right here as you can see this is one of the websites here that does not have an image so this is the first thing I'm gonna show you and I hope this guy doesn't mind me using his podcast as a as an example and I don't think he will because he actually I found him on a forum that he posted on uh, asking for this for help for this very same issue so hopefully this will help them out but anyways I'm gonna show you how to do this first okay so the first thing that you're going to need obviously is an image and the image has to be in the size of 600 by 600 pixels okay let me repeat that 600 by 600 pixels and it's a huge image but this is what iTunes need because they resize it several times to place it on different places like you know the iTunes directory the iPad iPod so you know they 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 want it that big so they could be able to do whatever they want right so 600 by 600 pixels once you got that uploaded wherever you want you upload your files at you know it could be S3 Amazon or just upload it to your uh, WordPress this is that's what I do I upload all my images into my WordPress file so then you're gonna go to your uh, feed burner account and I'm going to assume that you have uh, your a feed burner account and have it set up properly if not I have another video on how to do this but for the sake of this video let's just go assume that you already have it so go back into your uh, feed burner account and go into the back office click on optimize and then you're gonna go down here and click on smart cast okay so once you're there you're going to go down here where it says podcast image and you're going to paste uh, where the link to where your image is is hosted at okay again this could be in s3 Amazon uh, or it could be in your WordPress uh, directory or you could also use photo bucket uh, a lot of people use photo bucket I used it uh, back in the days I I still use it for some of for some stuff uh, but you go ahead and paste the link there you could preview it here uh, just to make sure uh, it's 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 in there and they're picking it up as you can see very huge file but Again, this is what iTunes wants. Then you're just going to go down here, click save, and that's it. Once you're done with that, it's basically a waiting game with iTunes because it'll actually take a few days to a few weeks for it to show up here. Uh, but I've seen it as little as like 24 hours, but it really all depends on when you submit it. Uh, I really don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet, but it should work. Just wait a few days, uh, wait a, a week uh, before you start panicking. Okay, uh, but it should be fine uh, just by following these instructions. So now we did this. Now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and make the image file show up here. Okay, because as you can see, there's nothing showing up there. Uh, that's the thing that happened with me. It was showing on the website, but it was not showing up right here in the iTunes directory. And this is really important because if people don't see an image really they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna click on it let's be honest and, and to me the most important thing is the actual content but yeah, that's just the way it is if they don't see an image it's not gonna look sexy and people are not going to click on it so I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, but let me explain what's going on here with this and why it's not showing up and this is what I figured out okay because iTunes actually pulls information from the actual audio file so if the audio file does not have any text or does not have any uh, image artwork or anything 
it's not going to do anything. It's just not going to have any of this information. All right, so you need to tag. This is what it's called. You need to tag the actual audio file with an image artwork. And that's the problem that a lot of people are having. That's the, one of the biggest problems I have. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now. It's actually real simple. And you're just going to need this one tool called an ID3 editor. As you can see, I'm, I'm hovering over it right here. Now, guys, you could I, I found some free ones out there. But I'm going to be dead ass honest here. They all sucked. I mean, there was some like two so-so ones, but it was just so complicated to work with. You know, and then I found this one here, and this was just fifteen dollars. That's it, fifteen bucks. It got rid of all the headaches and you know, peace of mind. So, guys, they have a free trial, uh, but you know, you could try the free ones out there. I just would not recommend it. Uh, fifteen bucks, peace of mind. Get get rid of the headaches right away. So you'll have it for life. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you this ID three. I have no idea what those letters stand for guys but I know what it does so you open up the file or the software and you, you find wherever your you got your your uh, audio file at right so as you can see here this one already has the image this is what uh, what tagging the audio file is okay as you can see let me go ahead and open this information thing here but as you can see here iTunes is gonna get all this little information here all this little little stuff here including the, the the file and it's going to put it in the actual iTunes iTunes is gonna pick it up and show it to to the world okay but right now they don't know where to pick it up from okay because you're not telling them so we're gonna go ahead and, and get one of the other ones that I don't have done yet all right as you can see here that does not have any image yet right or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and open it all right and right here you can see I already have the information done all this stuff here now guys this is done on GarageBand alright and and this is after the audio file has been rendered and finished and ready to upload okay uh, so once it's ready to upload you're gonna take it into this software open it up here and you're gonna click down here where it says picture okay and you're going to look for the uh, for or drag the image here or just look for it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, look for it real quick here. Podcast 600. That's the one I want. Okay. You're going to put it right there. And, and that's it. You're going to click on update. And you're done. You're ready to go. That is it, folks. That is it. Okay. Now let me go ahead and find that image file again. So you can see that it actually worked. Go ahead and click on this video or the file here, and right there you can actually see that there's an artwork there. Okay, now if it's not there, sometimes it won't show. Go ahead and click on more info and just make sure before you upload it that the artwork is showing there. And as you can see there, the artwork is there, the audio file is tagged with the artwork. So when you upload it to wherever you're hosting your your podcast at, iTunes will pick up the feed. They will go ahead and, and show the image there, show it for everybody to see, and everything should be working properly. So uh, that's pretty much it, folks, for this tutorial. I showed you how to uh, make the image show up here on the website and also how to make it show up here in the in your iTunes directory. Okay, um, It should work for you guys. I've tried this on, on three of my podcast shows. I've helped other people already do this. It worked flawlessly so try it out hopefully it really works out for you it helps you out and if you have any problems go ahead and just, just shoot me a, a comment there shoot me a message on my blog incompressor.com or on my Facebook or right here on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube and just shoot me a message shoot me a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you out with this uh, with with this problem here okay but you should be fine just go ahead and follow the directions uh, to the T so with that said Joey Kissimmee peace I love you for free out